Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are on the bridge, and I'm very excited. We are going to do the story mission. Now, how I'm going to do this is just go through the story and enjoy it. Whatever it is, happens, happens, and I've been looking forward to this all day. So, Redshift, play now. An incident at Jupiter Station. Admiral Janeway is leading the relief operations there and has asked for backup. I'd like you to join the Admiral at Jupiter Station and provide any assistance she might require. Be prepared. If the Terrans are bold enough to strike at the very heart of the Federation, they must be up to something big. Oof. What are the rewards here? So, Aaron Exocom Kit Reward. Interesting. All right. There we go. Let's do this. Whew! I'm excited. Hit that. Let's go. Engage. Woo. That backdrop. Just seeing Jay. <laughs> Woo. Chibbers. Chibbers. All right. Like even Killy, this whole thing. That weapons part on that Odyssey. What? Hmm. Terrans hit us pretty hard today. Several of our ships are in trouble. See what you can do to help out. We'll talk more once we have everyone out of harm's way. Whatever medical teams you could spare would be most welcome. Oof. Her voice. I, oh my gosh. Ooh. Away teams received. That's the new model Cheyenne there. What ship is this? The Guardian. Thanks. We'll get your people back to you as soon as we have things under control. This is Chief Engineer Charette of the Akron. We're out of time. Our warp core is going critical and we can't eject it. We need to evacuate now. The rooms repair of emergency transfer operation. Evacuate as many people as possible from the Akron before their warp core breaches. Is that oh excels here to beam out. I'll buy you as much time as I can the last of us are ready for transport Hurry. same mechanics is that mission that we do for Mars attack that's everyone get to a safe distance Woo. the Akron treated us well I'm going to miss her and her captain losing the Akron wasn't easy to watch but you saved the survivors on board. That's what matters the most. Well done. The situation is getting complicated. And officers like you can help me get to the bottom of things. Let's meet on Voyager to go over this in person. <laughs> Understood. Hello, Cancio. Rendezvous with Voyager. Let's go. Let's see, apparently audio is a little low, which actually it is, but Captains, if you don't know I'm gonna what I'm gonna be doing next here. I have to. This is my memorabilia for this mission. Not that I hit that. Oh dear. Yes. Uh, we're taking shelfies, Captains. That's what we're doing. Because I want to not do that. 
pilot maneuvers. I do this because I am so, so happy about all the work that the devs have put in, especially with the ship models. Like, Thomas, this is great. Granted, I'll meet you in the transporter room. Hmm. Oof. That's a lot of oof. Welcome aboard. There's a lot to discuss and very little time to do so. Oof. Walk with me. I'll get you up to speed on the way to the conference room. Here's what we know so far. The Terran fleet warped into the Sol system unchallenged. Somehow, they managed to bypass all of our security measures. You saw what they did to the ships near the station. Once they dealt with those ships, they raided the station itself. Their objective was unusual. Oh, she even gestured for me to go in. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. Right, let's get down to business. As you know, the Terrans raided a secret research station in the Izar system earlier. They stole a large amount of classified data during that raid, which you managed to recover. Starfleet Intelligence believes they found what they were looking for in that data, and it led them here, to Jupiter Station. I'm bringing in a consultant to assist with this briefing. Someone with first-hand experience of the incident at Jupiter Station. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Yes. Snap! <laughs> <laughs> Told ya. If you're finished gawking, <laughs> believe me, I don't want to be here any more than you do. My face! Let's get this over with. Fourteen hours ago, I led a Terran strike force operation to Jupiter Station. All right, let's get started. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, that is cool. Holy snap. Yes. Oh, okay, sorry. Discuss the Emperor's plan? Hold on. Uh, mm. Let me stand behind. Oh my god, Captain's hurt. The way they did her model. Oh, jeez. Like, this is just amazing. My tune is standing right beside Admiral Janeway. That's awesome. Look at the work that they did here. Okay, stop it. Ooh, Killy. Hello. Hi, Killy. Yes, we, we are taking a shelfie with Billy, okay? The operation is about to commence. We've entered Federation space undetected, thanks to security codes obtained by Imperial agents. By the time we drop out of warp in the Sol system, it'll be too late for the defenders of Jupiter Station. Michael Hampson, the slaughter. This Jeez. plan is reckless. 
Even for you, Marshal. We're not dealing with a legion of witless cyborgs here. And I'd rather not end up in a Starfleet prison for the rest of my days. Or, you know, dead. Your position is noted, Captain. Perhaps you'd like to voice your concerns to the Emperor? It is his plan, after all. His. Okay. No? Anyone? I didn't think so. Fortune, as they say, favors the bold. If we succeed today, the favor of the Emperor will be ours. So, please, summarize our mission objectives, Marshal. Oh my... Oh. The... What? What? That is awesome. Very well, Inquisitor. Listen closely. Once we arrive at Jupiter Station, we'll offer them the chance to surrender. They may show their bellies without firing a shot. If not, we'll deal with them and board the station. We will find the Emperor's prize, secure it, and return to our universe. And the great reward that awaits us there. Holy cow. That is... That is awesome. That... Oh, that detail. It's about time. I could use a good fight. This is in the 23rd century. Battles aren't won with karate chops and smirks. Jeez. Bloodthirst built the Empire. You'd be Holy wise to geez. remember that. It has served you well so far, Captain. Oh my god, that the, the the detail of just my tune speaking, that if it gets in the way on our mission, I won't hesitate to put you down. Not that mean. Yeah, yeah. Stop flirting with me. You'll make Kamarke blush. <clears throat> Do recall that Marshal Janeway does not suffer fools. And we are on the vessel. You're going oh, in hello. Grave. Oh. I think not. Traitor. What the? Enemy shadow long enough. Shut up. Fight. Should have done this a long time ago. I'm surprised you had the backbone to try. Enough of this. Time for you to die. What? I didn't expect that. Aw, look at the mess you made. The marshal's gonna get cranky. I can't, I can't auto well, this? Three cheers for- Stop! Kamarke, we're not doing that. An assassination attempt! Before breakfast? Rude. Nice to see I'm not the only one who's tried to end you, Inquisitor. Unlike that idiot, I live to tell the tale. And hey. You got that sweet voice box out of the deal. <laughs> yes, you tried, and you failed. Fortunately for you, I'm a loyal servant of the Emperor. Because he wishes it, you're still standing. Should that change, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, won't we? That... I'm cool. Oh. That is insane. Believe me, if we get to that bridge, I'll be the one blowing it up underneath you. But for now, the Emperor says we have to play nice, so this is me playing nice. See you at Jupiter Station. Unless your yeoman puts a shiv in your back on the way. <laughs> the Defiant is ready to receive you, Inquisitor. Step onto the transport pad when you're ready. Inquisitor. Whew. I'm shaking. This is insane. <laughs> that warping. Yes. <laughs> Jupiter Station. I am Marshal Catherine James oh, of the Terran Empire. 
Surrender, and your lives will be spared. Resistance, as the saying goes, is futile. Make the smart choice. Oh, I can't. Okay. Request denied, Marshal. Old school. I advise you to surrender while you're still able to do so. A predictable response, Marshal. I suggest we teach them the error of their ways. My crew and I stand ready to lead the charge. I think you got a little something brown on your nose there, Inquisitor. Enough. Inquisitor, the honor is yours. Teach them a lesson they'll never forget. Those who manage to survive, anyway. Inquisitor, I have 17 cases of Romulan ale that say we're earning the most glory today. Well, make it 20 and you're on. Done. Good luck scoring even a single kill in that little bucket of failure. We'll see about that. Not helping my keybinds. That uh, Terran skin looks so good on the Defiant. Soon enough, Commander. Surrender and prepare to be boarded. Marshal Janeway, I request a ceasefire to conduct rescue operations. He's stalling, buying time for reinforcements to arrive. The Empire doesn't negotiate with prey. Let's knock down their shields and take what we came here for. This insolence of yours is getting tiresome, Captain. Remember Oof. your place, or I will gut you like a fish and kick your carcass out of the nearest airlock. <laughs> Her voice over is... Oh my gosh, it's on point. What is it, Inquisitor? Jeez. We're reading several Starfleet vessels approaching at high warp, Marshal. They'll be here in moments. Battle stations. Fire to disable. If Starfleet is so concerned about rescue operations, let's give them something to rescue. It'll keep any more would-be reinforcements occupied. Tactical. Fire to disable. 
Wish they would have put the quad phaser cannons on this. Ooh, that Odyssey with that <laughs> that pod that looks so good. and take the Emperor's prize. Oh my gosh, I can't handle this. Prepare yourselves. We've got their back. As we planned. Oh, whoops. Two teams. Team one's objective is to disrupt their security systems through sabotage. Team two. Prepare yourselves. We've got their backs to the wall. And something tells me they won't go down without a fight. I wish I could move out of these trade. These are my like my keybinds down here. As we planned then. Two teams. Team one's objective is to disrupt their security systems through sabotage. Team two will gain access to critical systems and take control of them. Once that's done, we can use their transporters hmm. to beam directly to where the Emperor's prize It's the little things. And take it. Try not to get roughed up by a bunch of scientists and lab assistants. Let's get moving, Inquisitor. As you wish, Marshal. We we've got intruders in the storage area! Repeat, intruders in the storage area! That didn't take long. What is this? Weaponized dark matter? They're here! 
Phaser's on stun. Open fire. <laughs> Phaser's on stun, eh? Too bad ours are set to kill. Looks like this group has more fighting. So they're angry, geeks and nerds. Got it. One of them almost hit me. I'm impressed. What? Here's where we part company. Get the job done, Team Two. We won't fail you, Marshal. We won't fail you. Ugh. <laughs> Let's go, Camarque. You know, when you're done kissing the Marshal's backside. Lock the door in the promenade, then proceed to security. I'm your nerds, Captain. Enough. <clears throat> Someone get these doors open. I'm on it. Wow, the interior of this place is gorgeous. Got it. Right Holy jeez. This looks so good. You're trapped. Surrender now, and no harm will come to you. Security fields took them long enough. We need to keep moving. Uh, this way. I'll reconfigure oh. the isolinear chips here and shut down power in the fields. Oh. Uh, can I buy this interior, please? Like, after this mission? That would be great. Kumarke and I are in position. Waiting on you, Marshal. Tick tock. We're almost there. Stand by. Bunch of them over here. Commander, do not let them seize control of that station under any circumstances. Enemy combatants in close proximity. Flanking damage detected. Get those bombs planted, Inquisitor. On it. What? Cover me while I work. Okay. Having trouble? Not as many as you'll have if you don't stop distracting us. Love the banter. Oh, look at this. The detail in this. I love it. Oh, hello. Come on, don't disrupt me, please. Oh, Charge good. Is set. Get to a safe position. Ooh. Move. Ooh. <laughs> Leave him in there. Ooh. 
Oh, look at that. I, I didn't realize I had a knife there. Nice kaboom! We intercepted their security protocol transfer. Kumarke is taking control as we speak. Good. Once you take their internal sensors offline, we can move undetected. For now, got the security fields. I can't get over my voice. Sure, if you ask me nicely. Captain, you are on dangerously thin ice here. Get that security field down now. Inquisitor, there's a Jeffrey's tube nearby. We'll use it to go between decks. Woo! All right, all mm. right, it's down. Mm. Go! Oh. Hmm. Watch out. There's the Jeffries too. Let's get climbing. He didn't realize there was that many of them behind me. They cancel that alert when there's still Terrans on board. Wow. That's a mystery you'll never solve, I'm afraid. This is the transporter boat. Take the lead. Breach and clear. What? They're here! Open fire! Where are they? Right. Beam us directly to the medical ward. Energizing. Hmm. Something's wrong here. What's the holdup? We need to get out of here before Starfleet overruns our position. Starfleet's adapted their security protocols. We are locked out of the transporter controls. Time to go to Plan B. Meet us at the hub on deck seven. Janeway, get to the hub as fast as you can. Who's the hubs? Perfect. I love running. <laughs> Over here. Stop. Tilly and her pet are a problem. Can I count on you if things go sideways? Of course, Marshal. Hmm. Commander, we've got more contacts incoming. Eh, it's a lot of them. Damn, hmm. we're in a tight spot. Let's fight our way to the others and regroup. Marshal? Inquisitor? How nice of you to join us. What took you so long? Did you stop to replicate some coffee on the way? Fighting Where now. are they coming from? Later. For now, Marshal. Time to change things up a bit. Inquisitor, you and Tilly will get us access to the turbo lifts. Kumarke and I will focus on disabling the security lockouts. Once that's done, we should be able to get to the medical ward using turbo lifts. We'll rendezvous there. I just want to say the detail of this is, I'm sorry, but dang, that is just. Tumor, sir, good work. Magnificent. Interesting that the marshal pulled that little team switch. What do you think she's up to? Maybe she's hoping we kill each other so she won't have to. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, now you guys come in? This is Janeway. 
What's your status? About to take turbo lift control. Stand by. Ready phasers. They're here. Let's get this party started, nerds. <laughs> Watch your fire. We need functional controls once we've cleared the room. Less talky, more shooty. No. Inquisitor to Marshal Janeway. We've secured turbo lift control. Your orders. Hold your position, Inquisitor. Captain Kumarke tells me she needs about 15 seconds to finish cracking their security overrides. So, did Grandma Janeway ask you to kill me? <laughs> I mean, I I'd be insulted if she didn't. Janeway here. We've done our part. Ball's in your court now, Inquisitor. Yeah, we'll get right on that, Marshal. There's a countermeasure blocking me here. You need to reroute through that console. Come on. Reroute complete. Starting on the second oh, hello. knockout. Cover me. Need you on that console, Inquisitor. Ooh. Try it now. Hmm. Almost there. Just a few more seconds. Who else is there? Who else is there? Turbo lift control is restored. Hmm. What else we gotta do here? Nice work. We have turbo lift access here. Proceed with the plan. Kumarke and I will meet you at the objective. You think Janeway will convince Kumarke to betray me? That seems unlikely. Your pet is very loyal. Hmm. Hmm. What are you even here for? You aren't working for the Marshal. I work for the Emperor. Uh-huh. It still doesn't tell me why you're here. To make sure the job gets done. Oh, over here. Or oh, it doesn't really matter. So, what's so important about the Emperor's prize, anyway? Ask the Emperor. I'm sure he'd love explaining himself to you. Wow. Stick with your day job, Inquisitor. Making damage detected. The 
joke will be on us if we don't stay focused. Who else is there? Where are we going? Oh, over there. Beginning decontamination sweep. What now? This ends now. Oh, jeez. It's over. That's <laughs> like. But are we all friends here? Or? It is over for you. There is no way I'm letting you take ah! one for emergency transport. This guy was getting on my last nerve. Threat neutralized. The prize is ours for the taking, Marshal. Indeed. Inquisitor, if you would do the honors and open the door. Ooh. Expected someone more impressive. Let's get this over with. Yeah, let's do that. Oh. To be honest, I didn't think you'd make it this far, but I'm happy to finish you off now. You've had the Emperor's favor long enough. It's our time for glory now. Really? Well then. <laughs> if oh, you want snap. to kill the queen, you need to deal with her pawns. <laughs> uh, not as loyal as you led me to believe. Right. Okay. Not the marshal. Nothing personal. Tell him make a better deal. And it was for a lot what? more than Romulan ale. Perhaps we should gloat after the battle is won. What the? She's got some sort of invulnerability shield. Uh -oh. She's adapt Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire. She's adapted. Eliminate four drones to make her vulnerable. Uh, okay. Oh. oh. Take down ball drones to drop her shield. Uh, her shield trying. Now's our chance. Open fire. <laughs> Did I just slap her? Jeez. She's adapted. Eliminate ball drones to make her vulnerable. Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire. She's adapted. Eliminate four drones to make her vulnerable. I right, I right. No wait, no. Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open okay, I want fire. what she just fired. I want what she just fired.
She's adapted. Eliminate four drones to make her vulnerable. I'm probably gonna die here. Take down four Ooh. drones. Her shield is down. Oh. Now's our chance. Open fire. It's so good. That ground combat is clunky is enough for me, it always. Eliminate four drones to make her vulnerable. Take down her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire. She's adapted. Eliminate both drones to make her vulnerable. Take down ball drones to drop her shield. Whoa. Her shield is down. Now's our chance. Open fire. Mark my words. Traitors. You will burn for this. <laughs> what? I'll give the old girl credit. Making a Borg army out of the Starfleet goons we dropped along the way was a solid move. If she is, they'll be Starfleet's problem, not ours. If the Marshal survives, she'll be stuck here. Shouldn't be too bad. Your Federation prisoners are soft and defenseless. Yeah, that's her problem, not ours. Get the transporter beacon on the Emperor's prize so we can beam her out of here. Okay. Um, we're just gonna ignore this, or Th that's insane. But they they got man they. Totally got the look right. It looks like her. I'll give the old girl if yeah, that's the Emperor's prize is ours. Let's beam up and get back to our universe. My mouth hope hurts from being the rest, open as they say is history let's discuss how we resolve this fine little mess preferably over some coffee <laughs> i think that could be arranged um this is just absolutely awesome being in this room right now. So now we know who the Terrans were after. What we still don't know is why. Perhaps you can shed some light on that, Marshal. That information is above even my pay grade, Admiral. Only the Emperor knows, and he isn't one to share such secrets willingly. I suspect you know more about the Emperor's prize than I do. What's so special about that woman? Hmm. <laughs> we know she's one of ours. Lieutenant Ilea, a Delta navigator assigned to the Enterprise in the late 23rd century. <laughs> Until recently, she was listed as missing in action after an incident involving a powerful entity in deep space. Recently, she teleported into a Starfleet research station in the Epsilon sector and promptly collapsed. She's been comatose ever since. She was transferred to Jupiter Station for medical care due to her unique physiology. Uh, might being a bit more specific? <laughs> Baldness isn't exactly a unique biological trait, especially for Deltans. <laughs> According to the researchers on Jupiter Station, Ilea is a hybrid, a fusion of biological and artificial life. Very advanced artificial life. The research team could barely comprehend the nature of her artificial components. One of them told me it made a Soong-type android look crude by comparison. 
Well, I don't know how a bald cyborg factors into making the Emperor's ultimate weapon, but he does tend to have plans within plans. Maybe he wants this Ilea to serve as a prototype for some new type of super soldier. I don't care what he wants. It's our job to stop him and bring Ilea back. So, we need a plan, and we need it fast. By now, Tilly and her cohorts will have returned the Emperor's prize to Terran space dock in our universe. You'll want to move fast and be ready for the fight of your life if you want to bring her back. Let me be clear. This is an enemy of my enemy situation. I mean to get revenge on Tilly and her lackeys. And working with you will help me accomplish that goal. I see no reason to complicate matters. Do you? Then it sounds like we have an understanding. Now let's get to it. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, well. It looks like my recent work with Starfleet on training scenarios has paid off. Never thought you'd have the guts to try anything like that, but <laughs> what can I say? You're just full of surprises. <laughs> Are you kidding? This is my kind of crazy. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I love her voiceover. And if my help isn't enough, you have two Janeways working on this. <laughs> I can't wait to see what those crazy old birds come up with. <laughs> Especially after a few pots of coffee. <laughs> we took some serious hits here today, but they've had their inning. Now it's our turn at bat. Starfleet will put their best and brightest to work on the rescue operation. I've been assured that our allies in the Alliance will do the same. Working together, we survive the Iconian War. We can deal with this Terran incursion as well. One thing's for certain. Starfleet needs to improve the defenses here at Jupiter Station. I have a few ideas on that. But for now, Ilea is our top priority. Oh my god. They did such a good job with her. Seems like she's still. St Excuse me. Last parting gifts. Just, just you know. Admiring the great work. Oh my dear lord! All right, get back to your ship. Hours early. Captain's log, supplemental. We have Oof. the Emperor's prize at last. With Janeway out of the picture, the glory is ours alone. Those Do weapon pods. The secrets of the Emperor's prize? By any means necessary. Kumarke to bridge. The detail, Where holy jeez. Oh! Holy cow. Uh, the Terrans continue to perplex me. They went to a lot of trouble to kidnap Ilea, despite the incredible risk. It just doesn't add up. Something tells me that the Terran Emperor's plans involve a lot more than kidnapping. I, oh my dear, that's too much for me to handle. Oh, wow. Oh my dear, mm mm mm. Whew. Okay, that was absolutely insane, Captains. I, the wait was so worth it. From the environments, the, the voiceovers, oh my, the voiceovers, just the way. 
they are so into character. It, the differences between Janeway and Mir Jane. Oh, wow. This, it has to be up there with one of my favorite episodes. Even even with the ground portion, it, it it's fine. Like, oh my, wow. That is, whew. And then at the end there, you heard that little V'ger theme. That was, whew. Okay, Captains, there there it is. That's the featured episode. Holy cow, I am speechless right now. From the environmental work, from the ship work, from the voice act, this was just absolutely insane. Uh, thank you, Cryptic. To the devs, great work. And holy cow, the, the voiceovers were just ridiculously awesome. I can't wait to see how where this goes. Such a, why do you have to leave us like that? <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna leave it there for this portion. Uh, Captains, that was absolutely insane. Again, I cannot wait for the next featured episode. I, I, don't, I don't even, I'm, I'm, um, I'm just gonna leave it at that. That was insane. Captains, happy 12th anniversary. I love Stowe, again, this, game is just it feels like it's just getting better and better and i'm so glad i waited the the wait was worth to do this episode anyways we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there caps live long and prosper